everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for coming in today and tuning into this video i did not have a video up on sunday because i had a very busy 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 weekend helping a friend out with some vending for a major event here in the houston area and so we had a ball if i can the picture is a little fuzzy it was a boomerang out pop it up here so you can kind of see but anyway had a wonderful time but i was exhausted it did not feel like recording the video so here i am this will be a relatively quick video i am coming in today with a review in my thoughts and a hack of the um ak patterns shona top and dress so as many of you know i have tested many of the patterns it, this wasn't one of was gifted to me by Athena um, many of uh, her patterns and so I enjoy testing the patterns I think they're great for plus size uh, with the range that they have and <clears throat> the ability to grade between sizes and different things of that nature what she has coming up is her Lisa and Kimberly dress month It's for the entire month of July and a part of august so the beginning part of august and so what i'll do is link her video down below where she's talking about it um just celebrating um her pattern company and um it's been over a year now that she's been um up and going so congratulations to athena and so um many of her patterns as you all have probably seen if you follow her or seen the ones that i've created are relatively um very beginner friendly to make and the uh, she on the top i'll actually pop up a picture i'm not sure it's kind of bright in here so i'm not sure if you'll see it anyway but i'll pop up a picture here of the pattern and again a very easy make it's a t-shirt pattern some of the views you'll see um, um i'll make sure I pop, I pop up a picture you'll see that they are the that you can make a dress you can make it short sleeve or long sleeve add the ruffle bottom to it add ruffles to the cuffs or to the bottom of the dress or as a peplum and so um the style for me that is most suitable for me is really the dress version i'm sorry the top version but with a little bit of a hack and if you don't know um athena has i want to say over 20 hacks over 15 hacks i'll put it on the screen here for her pattern she did them all and so um, if you are looking for other ideas and ways to switch up this very basic pattern, she definitely offers up those options. And as a matter of fact, she did do a video. I'll link that video down below um, in the description box as well. But um, yes, yeah, she has many hacks for this. So I want it. Here's the top. It is a rayon, 97% rayon, 3% spandex that I picked up from Joanne Fabrics. And um, I'm actually, she did not ask me to do a review on this particular pattern. I am going to do obviously the Kimberly dress um, and I'll reveal that next month. But I wanted to do this basic t-shirt, but I want to do a hack. So I know she has a hack in the pattern for doing tie sleeves at the bottom but i wanted a long slit and i want it to be um faced fully fully lined right and so i was like okay how do i do this you know go you know, trying to figure it all out and i'll pop up pictures of me in in the top because you really won't get the the full effect um here but um this is it this is what I was able to do. I actually like, first of all, the pattern, super duper easy, super duper easy, four pieces. You got the front, the back, the sleeves, and the neckband, the neckband piece. Super easy, simple, simple, simple. Now, when you want to switch it up, this is where things can get a little bit more tricky and you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So because I wanted this long slit with the tie at the bottom, I saw that Mimi G actually has a DIY slit sleeve tutorial. And so I actually followed that. I'll link that down below to create this. And I like the way it turned out. However, a couple things. Let me make a quick note for you for the tutorial. Here are my pattern pieces. Just follow her tutorial. Very good. Um, she explains everything well. Um, when you get to the pattern piece, where you're making this curve there. Um, Mimi G doesn't say how 
deep that curve should be. Mine, just for a point of reference, is six and a half inches. Also on her um, tutorial, she um, shows you how to make this long piece, which is 11 inches, and the height of the ties, which is three inches. But you'll notice in her tutorial, when she shows when it's time to sew everything up, you'll notice that it had a point, but when cutting it out, she didn't mention the point. So I figured out that because this is three inches high, that point goes in about two and one eighth. So you can get a nice little sharp point. Or if you just have, you just want to make it square, you can also do that. But I did want, I like the, the look of the pointed ends. As you can see, as you can see here, here are the pointed ends. And so that's would be the only thing that was not mentioned in the tutorial that um, I made sure to mark on my pattern pieces. And so I absolutely love the way it turned out. It's very drapey. So with that being said, I think the, fa the fabric is perfectly fine for this type of hack, perfectly fine, because it's loose fitting, as you can see. Um, again, it's a rayon, 97% rayon, 3% spandex. Um, however, what I didn't count on because I actually should, I wanted the sleeve to stop right here. Can you see that above my elbow? And I did, I was, I just traced it because I traced out all the pieces. Um, but I wasn't paying attention and end up doing the full, not the full length because this doesn't go down <clears throat> all the way to the wrist. It goes about right here, excuse me, <clears throat> about three quarter inch, I want to say. So this with the ties is long if I tied it the way it would normally hit it would hit somewhere down here which is for me too low I would prefer it had I did the short sleeve and did the tie up here because I'm fine with the length of the ties that doesn't bother me but because wearing it <laughs> it kept it keeps falling past my elbow which is why i always want it short because i don't like things falling past my elbow because i end up pushing it up all the time so what i had to do was tighten this really tight let me see maybe i can show you yeah try to see i have to tighten it real tight and keep it above my elbow so it doesn't drop otherwise it drops down here so I would say that is the only thing I will do this again because my intention actually, because the way this droops down on me, oh, for the size I cut, I cut a 26 because what I wanted to be loose. So <clears throat> I cut a 26 bust um, and a 28 waist and hip. So I like the way that drapes on me in this fabric. But next time, because there will be a next time, I'll do this again. But what I'm going to do, make short sleeves. But um, Athena has a boat neck um, slash where it's, well, you all know how boat neck looks. I want to try that. And I actually want to do it in a dress. And I believe I have the perfect fabric for it that is... It's, it's just as drapey, but not as drapey, if that makes sense. Um, okay, I, I, I pulled the fabric. Here it is. I got this from So Much Fabric. Um, it was on sale. If she has any available on online, I will link it down below. But this is, this is so pretty. And this is more of a cotton, um, I want to say it's a cotton rayon jersey. Um, again, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. So it's drapey, but it doesn't have as much um, drape as this. That I would love to do the boat neck with the short sleeve ties and just make it a dress. Um, and for me, it will be just at my knee. Knee levels, probably where I would prefer it to be. And so, yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'll do um, on the next go wrong, round. Because I was initially going to make this into something else, but that won't work. <laughs> so I'll use this for, for that hack. So yeah, um, I have nothing else um, to include in this review. If you are interested in or have not tried Athena's patterns, AK patterns, I encourage you to give them a try. Join in on the Lisa and Kimberly Dress Month for the month of July and the month of August. And um, yeah, I'll link all of that below. 
Um, if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Stay tuned. Sunday, I have a very exciting series coming up. I'm very, very excited about it. So for those of you that have not subscribed, but tune in every week, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It'll be good. It'll be good. I promise. Um, but <laughs> anyway, so tune in on Sunday uh, for this new series that I will have coming up. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you again for all your wonderful comments on my husband's shorts. He absolutely loves them and will probably wear his next several pair without with a belt. I'm just saying. But anyway, <laughs> thank you everybody for tuning in today. And I will see you on Sunday. Again, hit that subscribe button and we will see you then. Have a blessed rest of your week. Bye.